Welcome to the channel, folks. Clunkers and Classics, where today, I guess you'll know by the thumbnail, we're going to try out a brand new knockoff Rochester Quadrajet carburetor. Okay, here's the original one on this engine, and uh, just having problems with it, mainly because it you set it to, to it idles and then uh, sometimes when you shut it off, turn it back on, it's it won't idle. It'll just keep dying. Sometimes it'll do it while you're driving. It's just weird. It has a mind of its own. And I don't think the four barrels are opening up all the way. Uh, even when I bought this car, the guy that owned it that actually rebuilt the whole engine said there's something's wrong with the carburetor. I don't know what it is. It must be trash in it or something. So if he can rebuild an engine that couldn't figure out this carburetor, I don't know. Um, so I'm tired of messing with it. Uh, could probably take it apart, take it off, take it all apart and have it rebuilt. But how much is that going to cost you? Uh, I'm not that confident on doing a big four barrel like this. There's way too much little intricate stuff in there. Uh, and it just takes so much time. So, what's the alternative? Well, buy a new carburetor, right? But have you seen the price? I, I lucked out on my 78 Aspen RT over there. I don't, I I think it was through Holly. It's a Holly, Holly carburetor, brand new, that was either returned or something like that. And they guaranteed it, and it was a hundred, hundred and something bucks. So it's a good deal. Can't find deals like that anymore. That was a couple of years ago on eBay. Uh, cheapest carburetor is about four hundred bucks. Summit Racing has their own brand for like three eighty-eight or something, but most of the carburetors start at four hundred bucks, and then go up from there. Uh, a lot of people don't really need that. They just want a carburetor that works. One that, <laughs> you know, don't need some fancy carburetor. That's what I want. I want to drive this and I want to be able to drive it without it. With, I want the four barrels to open and I don't want it to keep stalling and and all that. Because you go to reset it, reset the idle up and then uh, it'll be fine for a little while and then it'll go back down by itself. So, and you know, I can't find any vacuum leaks or anything like that. Okay, so I didn't even know they existed. Probably Chinese made, we'll find out here eventually. Um, but I didn't know they made a knockoff carburetor that replaces the Quadrajet. I knew they made one barrels because I bought one before for the 78 Nova six cylinder. So I was just on eBay looking for carburetors and all of a sudden these knockoffs pop up there's a whole bunch of sellers selling them uh, it's this is not sponsored I had to pay for it about 150 bucks so uh, that's about all I can say is go on eBay and put in it the heading actually says Rochester Quadrajet they're actually kind of stealing the name or whatever but uh, they they mentioned in the description it's not a Rochester Quadrajet but that's what the heading says Okay, so let's check it out. Okay, here's the box. I did take the plastic off. And it said in the ad that it doesn't come with a choke. Here's the gaskets. Oh, and they give you extra jets. See? But they said the carburetor's ready to go. The jets are just extra for, I don't know, live up in the mountains or something. Uh, so, I'm not exactly sure. I got an old-fashioned one hooked up on a heat riser, hooked up on this for the choke. Uh... Just when the manifold gets hot, it, uh, it'll open that up all the way. 
that little rod there. I can't remember why there's a weld there, but it does work. So I guess we'll leave that on there. It's just a clip. We'll take it off and put it on. Put it on the new one. Okay, so yeah, it looks like a Rochester Quadrajet. I think it goes right there. So we'll probably, yeah, so we'll just use that. That's on there, and there's other, there's electronic chokes and uh, another choke that must be a manual one on that are used on these too. So we'll check out, make sure the linkage is the same, all that stuff. And uh, there's the adjustment screws. Uh, I don't think there's any instructions in it. Nope. No instructions that tell you it's ready and you don't have to adjust nothing, but these are usually just your, your air mixture screws there that you have to adjust. Usually you turn them in, then turn them out a turn and a half. But we'll see if all these vacuum plugs are the same. Uh, yeah. So, we'll try it out and we'll swap everything over. Usually there's a vacuum T on there. Uh, we'll see. So, let's go over what we need to take off. Uh, we need to take off this fuel line here. And then there's four bolts. One, two, uh, three, four. These are real long ones. And then disconnect your little choke. And then the vacuum lines. One, that's just got a single vacuum that goes to the power brake booster right there. So we just unscrew that, take that off for now, we'll unscrew that and put it on the other one. Uh, other than that, got your PVC here. This is your vacuum here. This is hooked up to the distributor vacuum. Uh, this deal we don't need. This is for the AC. If you have AC hooked up, and turn on the AC, then it'll bump your idle up a little bit. Well, we don't need that, but... Okay, and then your main linkage here is your accelerator, your return spring, and then your carburetor, or your transmission kick down right there. And then I got this bracket hooked on to the carburetor, which we'll have to take off. Uh, other than that, I think that's it, guys. Very, very simple to take off. Okay, well, let me start taking it off. We'll put the new one on and uh, see if it works. So I'll be back. Okay, guys, that literally, literally took five minutes. Uh, pop off the choke fuel line, vacuum line here. This one came right out. Sometimes you got to grab the other end, but it came right out. The uh, two nuts there, two bolts there. Just about tripped over a cat. Uh, your kick down here, and your accelerator there, and uh, those two bolts, and then that's it. Very simple to take off. There it is. Let's bring it over here. I would film it, but I spent more time just going and getting the right tools. You know, back and forth getting a wrench, back and forth getting a screwdriver and socket and all that. Okay, so let's see. Okay, it sat like that. Goes like that. It is exactly the same linkage. We just gotta take this little rod off here and put it on here, here, or here. 
these two are the same. I uh, just got to take off those little plastic rubber plastic inserts. Okay, like I said, we'll leave this off. Is there a spot for that? Little screw there. Little screw there. So you can put it on if you need it. We'll just save that. Uh, it's got a that vacuum hose, then this main one here. So mine doesn't have this one, but that's plugged off. And it doesn't have this one, but that's okay. It's plugged off too. We just need that one and that one. Okay. And then we need... Okay, this is capped. Well, it's not a very good cap. I'm going to make sure these caps are good and tight. That had a cap on there. We don't need that. Okay, and uh, so the little choke should hook up right there. Now, okay, so we just unscrew that and put it in that. So what is that? That's a little Allen key. So we'll take that out and put that in there. Okay, so let me do those little things there. This and this. And that should be about it. Okay, I'll be back when it's ready to put on. Okay, guys, swapped that over. This is a little bit different, but I think that'll work for the transmission kick down. Fuel deal there. And the back for the brake booster. Uh, put the new gasket on there. So let's... Uh, Let's put it on there. There's the new gasket. Just line up the back holes. Oh, there it is. See, and your uh, the choke should hook up to that. Uh, this vacuum line to that. Fuel line to that. And I had one other vacuum line, I think, over here. Oh, right there, this one, this one right there, then this one, here's your PVC, one to there, and this one over, that one there, okay. Okay, now I gotta bolt that onto that. Okay, let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay guys, it's on there. I had to wallow out this hole a little bit to make this fit for the uh, transmission kick down. I think this sticks out a little far. I guess I didn't have a, the right clip there and I just had that spring over it to keep this from coming off. So I put another spring here. I think that'll be okay. It's on high idle right now. Okay, yeah, everything's uh, hooked up. I really need a little brace from this deal because it's only on by one bolt. Need a little brace that goes down there, but for now it should work. Uh, I think I got everything on there. I wanted to put these back. like that yeah as long as these caps stay on the the deals there there's I think three one two three extra vacuum and then I had to wallow this hole out just a little bit for the uh, heat riser thing okay so we'll pour a little gas down the, and if I didn't mention it, yeah, if it just doesn't work, send it back, get your money back and don't deal with Chinese junk, but for 150 bucks, 
And if it works, I think I got a few other cars that could probably use a $150 new carburetor. Okay, let me uh, try it. for a little bit, that's the adjusting screw, we pick it back down. Let it warm up for a minute. Okay, I'll be back. Okay guys, let's end up the idle a little bit from where they had it. Okay, I'll be back. Okay guys, yeah I know I need a bigger air cleaner, but that's all I got for now. Seems to run great. Smooth. Idling nice and uh, in gear. Starts up first crank. Uh, I wanted to just back up here a little bit. Got a new project if you haven't watched the video. Go ahead and watch it. Yeah, I don't know what the warranty is on these carburetors. Just check, check the auction. I think there's several different makers of them. Uh, so yeah, I just check the warranty and returns. I know everything's refundable on eBay, so you know you get your money back through PayPal. do no well I'll do a burnout here in the in the grass I guess uh, radio's coming on can't do no more burnouts on the road in this because 
put the new tires on. I don't know, so far I'm happy with it, guys. Okay, I think that's it. So it's a short video. Uh, I was the guinea pig for you guys. I went ahead and bought it, took the risk. But like I said, there's really no risk if you know other than half an hour hour of uh putting it on there if, if you don't like it or if it doesn't work ship it back uh but i'll tell you what these when i bought that one barrel from the carburetor for the uh 78 nova uh something didn't work on it and they they refunded like half my money and let me keep it something like that because i don't want to ship it all the way back to china so Anyway, if you get one and something's wrong with it, don't worry about it. Get your money back. If you wanted to keep it, they'll give you half your money back type thing. Uh, or just send the whole thing back and get all your money back. Put your old one on there and screw around for a couple of days trying to tune it right. <laughs> uh, this, this one was just bolted on. I didn't adjust nothing other than the idle. Didn't have to adjust those air fuel screws or nothing. So, uh... Yeah, I'm happy with it so far. Now, is it going to last? Well, we don't know. But I'm going to be keeping this car, so we'll check it from time to time. I'll let you all know if it screws up, but so far I like it. We'll check it on the cold starts there, uh, you know, in the morning. See if she fires right up. Okay, so I think that's it, guys. Uh like comment share subscribe bottom right hand corner of the screen it's free stay tuned got another video on the uh red truck there 81 silverado it's coming along good uh this will come out before the driving video of that so yeah it's, uh, progress is coming along good and then i got a video in the middle of the video on these two mainly this one on the bodywork rust stuff like that so that'll be coming up okay well like comment share subscribe all that stuff see you next video thanks everybody for watching